I just want to see everyone uh, to fight for each other on the pitch. Well, Thomas, Nigel has confirmed he's here permanently for three more years. Um, how pleasing is it from your point of view to have the manager situation sorted? Does it provide a boost? Well, it's pleasing for everyone, I think, around the club and to have the clarity for him, for us, that he's the man who's going to be building this team uh, for next season. And uh, yeah, it gives us a bit of a boost uh, that we're going to have to uh, work even more or have to work even more to actually secure our positions in here or in a, in a first 11 or whatever the manager's got a uh, plan for us. So yeah, I think very positive for everyone here. We know form has been disappointing towards in the second half of the season. That's been quite clear, but you know, what has he brought in in the time that Nigel has been here and what impact can he have on the club on the players in the long term, do you think? Well, I would have said experience. You know, like every time you speak to him, you can basically see that he's been through quite big clubs and uh, and done uh, done a lot of a lot of good stuff in his career, and he can bring it to the team. And we have to listen. We have to take it on board, and uh, and actually then produce on the pitch. Uh, at the moment, it. It wasn't working, or oh, it isn't working, but uh, I guess we should take this opportunity to, to build something for next season and the sooner we start, the, the better for us. And this weekend's game against Millwall was the penultimate game of the season. What are you demanding of, I guess, both yourself and the rest of the squad this weekend? Simply just the best we can be. Uh, I know it sounds more like a cliche, but I'm always trying to go on the pitch and and uh, and give everything. Uh, I know that some people might disagree, uh, especially after the last game. But uh, I just want to see everyone uh, to fight for each other on the pitch uh, because the quality is there, and I think I think when we actually uh, stick together as a team and uh, and be proper teammates on the pitch, then. Uh, then it brings, it brings the results automatically. Obviously, on top of that, you have to run and you have to do all all that sort of stuff. Uh, but I think it starts with with the t togetherness and uh, and being proper teammate. Uh, last sort of couple of games, you know, losing games from being in winning positions has has been the issue. How do you go about addressing that, and or how do you go about changing that? Yeah, it's very frustrating when it happens. Uh, from one nil down, yeah, it can happen. Uh, I mean, from one nil up, uh, it can happen. But from two nil, two nil up, it shouldn't happen, and uh, and it's unacceptable. But yeah, I think uh, it might be. Uh, I don't know. We haven't been in that position for a while, you know. As sad as it sounds, unfortunately, but. Yeah, I think I think we, we we reached the situation when we were in total control of the game in both games, and we just couldn't handle it uh, for ninety minutes, and uh, that's something most of us most of us needs to learn. Obviously, then the the experienced players need to step up and uh, and keep the younger ones around them or the less experienced ones around them together and uh, and get through the game. So. Yeah, one nil down to one two is still unacceptable, but it can happen. But from two nil up, it shouldn't. So it's about the experienced players stepping in and helping those yeah. less experienced. And if you can do that, then things will get better. Yeah, me personally, like, and I'm sure I've got loads of other experienced players around me. Uh, I think we should have done more. Uh, and that doesn't mean necessarily run more or, or win more challenges or win more duels or or have a better uh, passing accuracy. It's sometimes just about simple words on the pitch uh, that that help the teammate, help the younger one that might need it. But sometimes we need it ourselves. So so it's actually 
you know, what what you give, uh, hopefully you will get back. So, yeah, that's that's maybe what we were missing in those two games uh, and in, in the second part of the season in general, uh, to actually open the mouth and help each other on the pitch. And just finally, I know it was a different occasion back in January, but a 3-0 win at Millwall in the FA Cup. Is there anything to take from, from that game when you, when you head back to the Den this time around? Well, every game is different uh, and, I, and I believe that Millwall is somewhere else than when, they were, when we were playing them in a cup. But we can see that we can beat them, uh, we can play at their stadium and, uh, and bring our game uh, onto them. So, yeah, that's, that's the thing that we should literally take uh, and, and try to replicate what, we, what we've done in that game. I'm sure that they're going to be more prepared so we, we have to be as equally prepared or even more to actually win the game.